Hi guys, welcome back here at DC Engineering Tutorials. Uh, so this time, ituro ko kung paano gamitin yung shear and moment diagram in the analysis of uh, determinate truss. So here, meron akong example dito na Pratt truss and then it is loaded with vertical loads at node B, C, D, E, F as shown in the figure. No? So every panel, meron siyang tag 3 meters. So a total span of 18 meters and then yung height niya is 4 meters. So, yung requirement is i-determine natin yung uh, bar forces nito no? using uh, shear and moment diagram. So, yung shear and moment diagram is uh, maganda siyang gamitin if you want to compute for all bar forces. No? So, pag nangyari lang naman, kung hahanapin mo is yung forces certain member si gusto mo lang hanapin yung member sa CD so mas magandang gamitin yung meter of joints or meter of section no? whichever uh, sinong mas madali no? so pero kung lahat ng members yung kukumpute natin mas maganda yung share and moment diagram so okay let's solve this problem problem here and then we, uh, we will going to uh, verify our result using uh, Android app now we see evolution this one so we just need to uh, first compute the uh, support reactions at point a and g so let's say we have this one so ilan yung reaction data tsaka ano yung reaction data Okay, so para masolve natin yung uh, reaction, uh, we just need to uh, sum up moments. So I say support reactions. So, by summation of moment at point uh, J equal to 0. So, assume ko na lang na positive yung ganitong ikot. So, we have uh, RA multiplied by its distance. We have uh, 18 meters. And then, we have uh, 30. Then, yung distance niya is meron tayong 15. And then, meron tayong 60. Yung distance niya is meron tayong 12. And then again, we have also 60. Yung distance niya to point G, we have 9. Na? So we have 3, 6, 9. And then we have again 30. We have distance 6. And lastly, we have 30 times 3. Na? Distance niya to point G. So wala nang ibang force. So equate na natin to, to 0. So therefore, yung reaction natin sa A is just equal to 30 times 15 plus 60 times 12 plus 60 times 9 plus 30 times 6 and 30 times 3 all over 18 so meron na tayong uh, this is 110 kilonewton and that is an upward so for reaction at uh, J so we just need to sum up forces vertical equal to 0 so therefore we have reactions uh, A and 
j minus 30 minus 60 minus 60 minus 30 minus 30 so we have uh, equal to zero so therefore reaction at j is just 30 plus 60 plus 60 plus 30 plus 30 minus reaction at a which is 110 so a total of 100 kilonewton upward okay so meron na tayong mga support reaction so pwede na, makagawa na tayo ng uh, shear and moment diagram na so bali dito so meron tayong reaction at J na this one is 100 then well dito meron tayong uh, 110 okay so project ko lang muna yan So, gawa tayo ng uh, shear moment diagram. So, for the shear diagram, so we have 110. So, 110 minus uh, 30, so we have 80. Lagay na lang natin ito yung 80. So, down. So, minus 60. So, we have 20. Okay, na natin dito yung 20. And then, 20 minus 60. So, we have uh, negative 40. Okay, na natin ito yan. And then, uh, 40 minus 30, so we have negative 70. So, per panel EF. And then, uh, negative 70, then down na punta o uh, 30. So, we have negative 100. So, per panel FG and then upward na 100 na. So, this becomes 0. So, ito na yung uh, shear diagram natin. shade na lang natin to for para maganda tignan and saka para makita natin yung area ng shear diagram so next is gawa tayo ng uh, moment diagram so, for the moment diagram, so we have let's see it again. So, area dito, we have 110 times 3. No? So, 110 times 3, that is uh, 330. 
and then so itu yang area ya nah. next is we have uh, 80 and 3 so 80 times 3 that is 240 so yan yung area so uh, isulat ko muna yan dito so I have uh, 0 and then lagay na lang natin ito yung 330 and then 330 plus 240 so that is 570 and then we have uh, 20 so we have 20 times 3 so that is 60 yung area nito so 570 plus 60 that is uh, ilan yan 12, 13, 630 no? so we have 630 yan yung moment at D so we have 630 nagay ka na lang dito ito yung 6.30 So connect lang natin to Kasi lahat 0 degree Yung Yung shear natin So Line lang to sya huh? And then 6.30 So deduct lang natin yung uh, 40 times 3 meter So we have negative 120 so 630 minus 120 that is uh, 1510 five, five, so we have 510 so again uh, connect lang natin to by a line and then so yun yung moment at point E and then F so kunin lang natin ito na so negative 70 times 3 so we have negative 210 so 510 minus 210 so that is uh, 00 300 okay so 300 line and then lastly so we have uh, negative 100 times 3 so yung area nito is negative 300 so negative 300 minus uh, 300 minus 300 negative 300 minus 300 so we have 0 for the moment so connect lang natin to so meron na tayong uh, moment diagram so shift ko lang yan finalize so ito na yung moment diagram natin Okay, so once meron ka ng moment diagram So masolve mo na yung mga uh, Top and uh, Bottom forces So nain ko muna yung sa top chord So Solve for the top chord So, if you want to cut the, you know, the line BC, so this is meter of section. 
So if you want to cut this one, and we want to compute for, let's say, side BC, so we need to moment at point C, no? Para uh, matanggal yung yung mga member forces natin uh, sa BC at BC na yung ita, no? Para matanggal to sila. So, bali yung matitira, if mag-moment tayo sa C is meron tayong BC na lang, no? So, ibig sabihin, if you want to compute for the side BC, so, kailangan lang natin ng moment sa C and then divide lang natin nung distance nung BC to point C, no? Which is uh, 4 meters. So, we have 4. So, yung moment natin at point C, we have uh, this is A, B, C, D, E, F, and J. So, at point C, meron tayong 570. So, this is 570 divided by 4 so the answer is 142.5 kilo newton ok so that is uh, <coughs> and then for uh, CD so ganun pa rin yung pattern ha so, if you want to find out the example, yung mag cut dito sa section na to. So, if gusto mong mag ma makuha yung force dito, so, kailangan mo lang mag-moment dito, no? So, para ma para yung mga forces dito, tsaka ito is mawala siya, no? Once mag-moment tayo at point D. So, yung matitira na lang is yung force CD. The same goes with the D, E, and E, F. So, ito nakita nyo na yung pattern na it's just moment also at D divided by 4 meters, yung distance niya. So, moment at D, we have 630. So, 630 divided by 4. So, we have 157.5 kN. And then, Uh, force DE so we have uh, moment so kung DE naman so kung titignan mo dito ito ka mag cut so kung gusto mong hanapin yung yung force sa DE so kailangan mag-moment ka dito at point D, no? Para matanggal yung forces na to. ba? So, kanon lang, no? So, titignan mo lang yung mga forces din. So, meron ka ng moment at point D, so divide lang natin ng 4, so we have uh, 630 divided by 4, so this is equal to 157.5 kN. And then, uh, we have also force EF. So, so force EF, uh, pin ko muna yung calculator ko. So, ganun pa rin sa force EF. So, kung gusto mong makuha yung yung force dito sa EF. So, cut mo lang yan. So, if you want to solve for the forces dito, so, kailangan mo mag-moment dito sa E. So, anyway, uh, pag masanay ka na, madali na lang tanong. So, bali, titignan mo na lang talaga yung yung trust mo, no? Kasi meron ka ng shear and moment diagram. So, kukunin mo na lang yung value ng uh, moment sa E. So, bali meron ka na lang moment sa E divided by 4. 
so we have uh, 510 divided by 4 so we have 127.5 uh, kilonewton so okay na tayo dyan, ha? and then <coughs> then uh, we can also compute for uh, bottom chord nila no? so yung B, C, C, D, D, E and E, F kasi yung dito sa part na at joint A at at joint G so pwede na lang gamitin natin yung method of sections ok so for the bottom chord uh, let's say Anyway, kung bottom chord naman Say bottom chord So, uh, considering section uh, Cutting section 1, 1 So, if you want to compute for uh, Force BC So, saan ka magmo-moment, no? So, dapat dito sa sa B na? at that panel na? para para yung member na to tsaka yung member na to once mag moment sila at point P uh, mawawala lang na? kasi patungo sila lahat sa point P so yung matitira na lang talaga is yung force BC so bali yung force BC is just moment sa B divided by yung distance naman ng BC patungo dun sa B no? which is uh, 4 meters okay so uh, ganun lang yung uh, mangyayari no? so let's say we have divided by so moment sa B is we have 330 divided by 4 so the value is 82.5 so moment sa B dito yan na banda uh, look, just look at this panel so we have 330 divided by 4 so we have 82.5 kilonewton and then for force uh, CD okay so for force CD so ganun pa rin no titingin ka lang okay so saan ka magmo-moment uh, dito sa point C na ulitin na natin so if you want to compute for uh, this force so kailangan itong dalawa matanggal na so magmo-moment ka dito sa C so you will have moment sa C divided by 4 so we have moment sa C that is 570 divided by 4 so 570 divided by 4 so we have 142.5 kilonewton uh, next is ang force DE so for the force DE
So for the force DE, so if you want to compute for uh, force DE, so magmoment magmoment tayo dito sa sample dito na. Kung gusto mong hanapin yung moment dito, so force DE, so kailangan matanggal tong dalawa na, considering cutting section 33. So magmoment na lang tayo dito at point E. So ganun lang yung mangyayari. So, therefore, this will be uh, moment sa E divided by 4 meters yung distance ng uh, bar DE to point E. So, we have moment sa E this one, 510. So, 510 divided by 4. So, we have 510. So, I just need to input that in my calculator. So, the answer is 127.5 kilonewton. And then, lastly, for EF. So, we have EF. So, if you want to compute for EF, so, magmumoment tayo dito sa F. Kung gusto natin makompute yung bar forces dito sa EF. Kailangan ma-remove yung mga member na yan, no? Member forces na yan. So, MF divided by 4. So, moment sa F, we have 300. So, we have 300 divided by 4. So, therefore, we have 300 divided by 4. So, we have 75. So, this one is 75 kN. Okay, so, to summarize, yung sa top curve, kunin lang natin ito. Uh, summarize muna natin yung So, meron tayong 142.5, 157.5, and 127.5. So, so, dito is meron tayong 142.5, 157.5, one fifty seven point five and one twenty seven point five. Dito naman sa bottom chord eighty two point five, one forty two point five, eighty two point five, one forty two point five, uh, one twenty seven point five and seventy five. Okay, so meron na tayong ganyan. Na? So since simple, uh, simply supported lang siya, so parang, so pwede mo siyang, uh, parang beam lang na, parang beam. So if meron tayong mga forces nga na mag-up, so probably, uh, magbuhin siya ng pag na. So in, in compression yung sa taas, dito sa baba is in tension. So ganun pa rin yung magiging uh, nature ng ano natin. So, bali dito is compression. 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 Well, dito sa uh, kabila is tension. No? So, tension. I mean, sa bottom cord. So, pwede dito na lang natin ilagay na. This is compression, 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 compression. 
tension, 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 tension. So, unahin mo na lang, uh, isolve na lang natin din yung sa, parang sa boundary ng trust na gano. So, considering at joint A, so, meron tayong reaction dyan na 100. So, ibig sabihin, masusolve natin to, no? Kasi meron siyang na uh, vertical component na 100 din 110 dito so, ibig sabihin yung vertical uh, force nito is 110 so yung issue na lang is uh, ilan to so, computein muna natin yung theta so theta is Uh, tangent inverse of 4 divided by 3 so ilan yung tangent inverse ng 4 divided by 3 so the value is 53.13 degrees na? so ibig sabihin masasolve natin yung reaction dito ay yung bar forces dito na? tsaka yung horizontal forces nya na? So, parang ganito na. Uh, we have 110 kilonewton. This is member A, B. And then, dito is parang kung ano yung magiging magnitude mo dito or X nya. So, ganun din yung sa A, B. Sa bottom. So, meron tayong uh, 53 13 degrees so ibig sabihin yung force uh, AB is just uh, 110 divided by so 110 over sine 53.13 so the answer is 137.5 So, 110 over sine uh, 53.13 So, we have 137.5 kilonewton And then, yung AB sa baba is we have now 137.5 cosine of 53.13 So, that is 137.5 cosine 53.13 Okay, so meron tayong 82.5 So, 82.5 kN So, bali dito meron tayong 82.5 Again, that is in tension And then dito meron tayong compression That is 137.5 kilonewton compression or pwede rin yung sa joint na no? so kung titignan mo pwede, pwede na din at joint sabihin mo at joint A so meron kang uh, 110 and then meron kang force AB And then, meron ka ditong force E capital B. And then, yung angle is 53.13. So, uh, you can use now the uh, summation of forces X and forces Y equal to 0. So, to come up with this two result, no? So, anyway, ito pa rin yung magiging result nila, na? No? So, ganun din dito sa kabilang side. So, meron tayo ditong uh, 100 kN. So, ibig sabihin, yung vertical component ng bar F, uh, GF na yan is also 100. So, bali yung force na to is just equal to 100 ano 100 over sine 
ng tita na to, no? which is also 53.13. So, if we want to compute for that, we have 100 divided by sine of 53.13. So, the value is 125 kilonewton. So, this one is 125 kilonewton compression so bali yung dito na so the same uh, the same pattern no? so <clears throat> parang ginawa ko dito is parang shortcut na talaga na no? uh, mabilis ang paraan so 125 cosine theta so that value is uh, we have 125 cosine 53.13 So we have 75 So bali dito Meron tayong 75 Tension So ang laki nung natipid mo na time When you use the uh, Shear and moment diagram <coughs> So ganun So ganun yung effect So siguro sa next video Sa next video, kukumpute natin yung mga diagonal forces dito Tsaka vertical for uh, Tsaka yung vertical forces dito sa mga uh, diagonal members na no? So probably yung mga gamit na natin dyan is Yung shear diagram na no? Kasi pag bottom cord uh, Top cord tsaka bottom cord Yung mga gamit mo is yung moment diagram Pag dito ka sa malapit sa support Mga gamit mo dyan is method of joints. And then, dito sa mga diagonal and vertical members, mga gamit natin dyan is uh, yung shear diagram. So, uh, see you in the next video. Thank you for listening.